sometimes the bass line is hard and we have some mm-hmm. wicked bass lines in this concert oh that, yeah that required a lot of <laughs> practicing and then my right hand yeah. is just like i gotta play too like this yeah. is hard enough <laughs> so so it's but but yeah but uh and you have of course the difference too because you were playing a solo mm-hmm. part in the sonata the, that mm-hmm. we played together but then you had to turn around and play the bass line which is a totally different right role and it's it's funny playing i i love having a balance of both in my life because it reminds each time i switch to other i remember how hard each one is i mean solo playing is hard enough but in a way it's also it's super easy because you have so much i mean i shouldn't say super easy but you have a lot of freedom you have a lot of you're sort of resting on you know, everyone beneath you that's supporting you, you know, playing the continuo, playing, you know, whatever piece you're playing, it's, you're sort of, you're not alone, you know, and, and of course, you're not alone when you're playing continuo, but there's such a, a, a fun responsibility to, to help really, you know, drive, steer the ship. It's, it's hard. It's, it's, yeah. baselines are, you know, when, when you start learning the cello, you, you quickly, you know, you play Pachelbel a million times at a wedding or, you know, and, and you think, oh, baseline playing is really boring and, yeah, and really yeah. easy, but it's really not, it's, it's, really, it's not. really fascinating. So it's, yeah. there's a, it's a, such a different, there's sort of a, I mean, maybe it's just me, but there's sort of a little more of a diva mindset when you play the solo, yeah. uh, you can be a little different, exp- you know, and, and it's much more sort of folk. I feel much more focused and much more, really you know trying to be aware of not that i'm not aware of what other people are doing when i'm playing solo but extra you know yep. trying to ant- anticipate everyone's yep. you know slightest gesture and but yeah it's, it's, it's quite good to fascinating because it's not it's not the same as accompanying mm-hmm. because accompanying you just listening and reacting because in broke music it's all about the bass line mm-hmm. and everything right on top but you are accompanying at the same time, as you say, steering the ship. So you're having to, mm-hmm. the, it's quite rigorous in a way. And, yeah. and knowing yeah. that if you aren't just really solid and really aware of everything that's going on, the whole piece is going to be weaker. It just, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's quite different than playing like 19th century accompaniments that I'm thinking. It's yeah. just, it's, it's romantic very, string quartets. I mean, it's, yes. Yeah. Uh, in school, we were taught really just follow the violin. They're yeah. the leader, and not that you have no idea what's going on and, and no direction. But it, I, I got really good at just following people. Yeah. And then I started baroque music, and I thought, oh, I have to, I have to push people around a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's it takes some getting used to.